When it comes to sustaining innovation, the burden remains on us, as it should. We're not asking for a handout or a bailout. Instead, businesses that live or die by healthcare innovation in the U.S. ask only that we be allowed to continue doing just that, proving the value of what we've developed or failing in the marketplace. The only thing our industry has a right to ask of public policy, in my view, is to help preserve the environment in which innovation is possible. We operate in what I like to call an ecosystem of innovation. Like a natural ecosystem, none of its components is dispensable. You take away one element and the system collapses. It can no longer sustain innovation. Now there are three vital components to this ecosystem that I'm talking about here with you this afternoon. Number one is open access to healthcare markets. We need to be able to put our innovations to the test among doctors and patients. This means that doctors and patients need to keep the ability to choose in an informed way from all the available alternatives. Number two is market-based pricing, based on competition among therapies, undistorted by government interventions. We need to be able to get a return on our investment that reflects a real-world assessment of the value we're delivering. And number three is intellectual property protection. We need to be able to retain ownership for some reasonable period of time of the discoveries that our investors have risked so much on in order to bring to market. 